11 years ago today that the 35W bridge collapsed into the Mississippi River. 13 people died. 145 others were hurt. Investigators would later say a design flaw doomed that bridge from the start. Now a survivor of that day has authored a new book, The I-35W Bridge Collapse, A Survivor's Account of America's Crumbling Infrastructure. Yes, we have Kimberly Brown now joining us here on Mid Morning. And first of all, Kimberly, how how are you doing? Um, I'm good, thank yeah. you, mm -hmm. thank you. It's you're feeling so, okay. And, yeah, and it's been hard to believe it's been 11 years. Yeah, it's um it's an emotional day today. I I, I'm thinking a lot about um, the people that I've met and some of my friends. Mm -hmm. from the bridge. So many lives uh, were changed forever in that instant. Yes. There just after six uh, on that night. Uh, it was so hot. Mm -hmm. I f I'm sure you remember it like it was yesterday. We were mm -hmm. both covering that story that night. Uh, and I think about uh, those first responders and all of you often. Sure. Tell us your story. What were you doing that day? Sure. Um, I was um, on my way to the soccer game. And um, I I didn't really have a reason to go. I had broken my toe and yeah. <laughs> I you was playing. playing. Yeah, 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 I wasn't going to be playing. I had planned to go and take some pictures and stuff. But um, I um, am excited about the book. I worked mm -hmm. on it for nearly a decade and um, it's, I'm happy to say it's a lot more than just a regurgitation mm -hmm. of the bridge fall. Right. You talk about some of the emotions that you suffered after. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a lot of PTSD going in. To what happened after that bridge collapsed? Because yeah. I would have met. Describe what happened because you probably didn't even know that the bridge was was falling at the time. Yeah, I I didn't even really realize that I was on a bridge, and um, the PTSD is something that I have battled with um, quite a lot, and I've gotten a lot better, um, able to to do normal things again, mm -hmm. like park in parking ramps and mm -hmm. ride elevators and things like that, but it definitely lives on in my body and um, I struggle to kind of yeah. um, handle handle the triggers and the body well, sensations. One way that you tried to deal with that over the years was really digging in and uh, this book really in a way is your quest for answers and truth, right? Yes, that is true. So um, what were you seeking and what did you find? Sure. I was reading so much about bridges and that that bridges in the United States were in such terrible shape and I didn't understand a lot of the language that they were mm -hmm. using and so I started kind of from there and started watching documentaries and reviewing inspection reports and learning about all the engineers conclusions um, including uh, uh, a conclusion by Thornton Tomasetti, mm -hmm. an engineering firm who came to a different conclusion than the, than the NTSB. Mm -hmm. And I imagine writing this book was sort of a cathartic experience for you in, in, sort, of, in sort of a therapeutic way after everything that you've gone through. I suppose in a sense, uh -huh. it, it, it is at least the initial blush of it. Right. Um, writing a book is such a, a large commitment that right. um, the driving force behind it was really for a long time, a lot of survivor's guilt. Right. Sure. Yeah. And I didn't even know what survivor's guilt was right. because logically, of course, I knew it wasn't my fault that the bridge collapsed. Mm -hmm. But um, survivor's guilt is kind of this it's, thing where you think I wasn't really supposed to live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's real. And it dominates your life. And to, today, 11 years later, mm -hmm. your message to everyone as we look back, it's, it's more of a forward-looking message that we can't let this happen again. Right, right. I, I want people to have uh, less of a disadvantage than we all had when the bridge collapsed. Mm -hmm. And to do that, we have to know the history and the full truth of why it fell. Mm -hmm. Well, the book is called The 35W Bridge Collapse, A Survivor's Account of America's Crumbling Infrastructure. Kimberly Brown, mm -hmm. we're, we're glad you survived. Yes. We're glad you're here and glad you can tell this story. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so sharing. much for having me on today. Mm -hmm.